Hello everyone, this is Spencer from Buildapreneur, and this video is going to be a review of Opesta, the messenger bot marketing software. So if you're interested, you're interested in messenger bots, or you're interested in Opesta, stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back. Two things before we get started. Let me know what Messenger bot software you're currently using, okay? If you're using ManyChat or ChatFuel or any of the other smaller ones out there, let me know. If you're not using one, let me know that as well. Say, I'm not using one. Second thing is, if you like this video, if you're interested in affiliate marketing or online marketing or building automations or anything like that, click subscribe because you'll get notified every time I put out a new video that teaches you all kinds of really cool things on this subject matter. Okay, so let's get dive in, in, diving in here and let's talk about Opesta. So obviously up front, I'll say I do like Opesta. There's a link down below to sign up at any time and there's a free course that comes when you sign up to that link. Um, now, before I get too deep into it, I like Opesta for a couple of reasons, okay? So this video is going to be about what is Opesta, and then we're going to go over the pros and the cons. So I, I like it. It's not like it's a god of messenger bot marketing, right? It has weak, weaknesses and things like that, and we'll try to go over all of them in the video. Um, so the first thing is is who made Opesta? Opesta was actually made by Ethan Sigmund, and if, um, I actually know Ethan, and I talked to him before he ever launched the software, and, I, and it, uh, his reasoning for launching it is part of why I like it so much. Um, Ethan was using kind of the standard softwares that are out there right now, and he was taking on major major clients and running messenger bot marketing for a lot of these like major major clients okay so he's a he's a big marketer he does marketing for some some big names and there were just so many things they couldn't do and they uh, if, if, you've, if you're familiar with any of these platforms they weren't worded they weren't built by marketers okay and so a lot of times he just felt like it wasn't you know the person that built the the software didn't quite understand what he would be doing with it as a marketer and so the the way they worded things the way they built things kind of the the, the overall structure or everything just didn't necessarily make sense um, because of that and he could tell that they weren't marketers that had made the software so he decided he was going to go launch his own and thus Opesta was born and um, I actually was probably one of the first like 10 people to sign up for Opesta because I love that idea as well. Um, I totally agree with Ethan. When I got into some of these softwares, they just didn't make sense. So um, when it comes to like pros and cons, the first pro is Opesta is so simple, guys. It's it's built very, very simple. And if you have an email marketing background at all, you know anything about email marketing, then it's even simpler because it's really built with that in mind. It was built by someone that's really good at email marketing, and so therefore it um, it really is structured around successful email marketing um, or successful marketing um, with that kind of campaign. So it's, it's built in, it basically just has two things. It's got automations and it's got broadcasts. Automations are called campaigns, but essentially it's got campaigns, which are where you can send out, you know, a, a messenger bot every couple of days, like a sequence that, you know, warms people up and then all, and all the things like that. That's all on automation. Or it has a broadcast, like an email where you can just send out to all your subscribers or certain tagged subscribers right then. Okay. And that's, then that's pretty much it. Okay. <laughs> like that's, that's the gist of the software, which is something that I love. It just, okay, what do I want to do? do I want to put people through like an automatic thing or do I want to send people everything right now? And then you choose and you run with it. Um, the thing I want to talk about is we're going to take a quick peek at the campaigns. I think their campaigns are super, super cool. Um, so we'll look at um, something like oh, let's look at this one. So this is a campaign I have um, for a Facebook challenge that I offer people in my group. Um, basically, automations are built into three different categories. They have triggers, which is what triggers the automation, right? Okay, so what, what does this person need to do to actually start this automation? Do they need to... Um, click a certain link? Do they need to comment on a Facebook uh, post or a Facebook ad? Do they need to um, go to a certain page on your website? So there's a lot of ways that can happen and basically you just set all the triggers you want here. So for example, this trigger is when they click that referral URL, that link. Um, it says when they click that link, I want you to trigger this sequence, okay? And I can add multiple triggers. I can say, or if they do this, or if they make this comment or they click this button on my site, there's a lot of ways to do it. I want you to trigger this sequence, okay? And then the next thing is content. Okay, what is the sequence? What does the sequence look like? And you can see I have my sequence built out day by day. Um, after a day, do this. After a day, send this one. After a day, send this one. And within each one, you can go as deep as you want. You can have buttons that then lead them deeper into that sequence, you know, where you actually teach them different things and sell them different things. Um, or you can go back out and and just go back to that main sequence where it sends out one of these every single day. Super, super easy to do. Um, and if you have, like I said, if, if you have the mind 70 marker, then it makes even more sense. And the last thing is goals, okay? Basically like, hey, is there a point that you want this, um, this sequence, this automation to end? Is there something they could do to end it? For example, purchase the course, right? If they purchase your course or purchase whatever it is that you're selling, do you want to stop you know, bugging them to buy it? Yeah, of course I do. So that, that's what ends it. So what begins it? 
what is it and what ends it and that, that and you can see how that just makes good sense it's very simple and, and, and makes sense even to people that don't do email marketing um, and that's why I'm a big fan of Lopesta uh, mainly because of that second thing is um, is broadcast so you can just sit down I can I can take um, sorry my phone's in my way here I can create a new broadcast and I can basically send it to everyone on my list I can so you can go to settings here. I can say, hey, no, only send it to people that have been tagged with these different things, you know. So if you're familiar with email marketing, you can tag people based on all kinds of actions. And this is really cool because you can send people messages based on tagging. So um, that's the broadcasting and that's the campaigns and that's the software, okay. Like there, there are all kinds of like little settings and stuff like that. But that's like the gist of, of how it works. Um, the things I like about it is, one, it just works. It's really simple and it just works, okay? So I've never had issues or things like that. I thought I had issues once, but it turns out to be another software I had connected to my Facebook bot. Um, so it just works really well. It's really simple and, and you don't have, you know, the softwares that have lots of bugs and glitches and things like that. Yeah, you know the softwares. It doesn't have that. Um, really good support. They don't have a huge support team because they're kind of small, um, but they have a great support team. I've, I've never gone more than 20 minutes without getting a response on a message, which is pretty good for a, a really small software like that. No, they don't have phone support or anything like that. Um, but uh, but as you can see, it's pretty simple. I don't think their support ever really gets overrun, and that's why I'm able to get a response in 20 minutes. Um, the third thing that's cool is if you're an affiliate marketer, they have an affiliate program. Okay, they're one of the few messenger bot softwares that have an affiliate program. So if you like to promote things that you use and like and kind of make a little additional income that way, boom, affiliate program. And then fourth is they have share sequences, and this is one of my favorite things. So if you go to um, if I go to like a specific campaign here, and then I go over to here. Oh, gotta move my phone again. I can actually click this and I can copy or I can share that campaign and then I can send someone that link and they in Opesta can just click one link and the entire automation opens up in their um, thing. So people can share a web, like, you know, if they have a pre webinar or a webinar automation or a sales automation or, a, um, uh, you know, there's all kinds of different automations you could have, but you can share them with uh, other people, which is really, really cool. Um, so, and um, I believe you get commission if you share with somebody and they decide to sign up based on you sharing it. So, also cool. Cons, okay? So, those are the cons. It's simple. Or those are the pros. It's simple. Um, it works. It's got good support. It's got an affiliate program. And it's really cool that you can share um, automations really quickly with other people. The cons are um, they're smaller. So, <laughs> there's not as many shared automations out there, right? If you sign up for Opesta, um, unlike some of the other bigger names, there's not as many shared automations out there. And so that means you don't have access to as much. Like a lot of people share automations in other platforms that won't just slurp right into this. Um, and then, okay, the next thing is they're smaller and they're simpler, so they don't have as many options. So if you're one of those people that like likes to be able to have like a thousand different things you can do and options and all kinds of like complicated things, um, that's probably not for you because they're a little simpler, right? And, and uh, to me, I like that. But if you're one of those people that likes all the millions of options out there that apply just for you, that's fine. Um, there are other ones out there. And then the third thing is they don't have as much support documentation, meaning so if you go to like many chat or some of those other ones, they've got hours and hours of documentation that you can go in and see how to do different things and support documentation and things like that. Opesta is small, they're not as big of a team, they're a lot newer and so there's not as much um, there's not as much out there in terms of like support content, YouTube content, training and things like that. They're getting there, they're working on it but obviously it's a work in progress so at the time of this video they're just not up to par with the other ones out there in terms of documentation. Um, so that's that's Opesta. Like I said, I use it. There is a link down below. Yes, that's an affiliate link. Yes, I do get compensated. But yes, I also use Opesta in my business and love it. So I'm not like trying to just make a bunch of money off Opesta or something like that. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is should you be using Messenger Bot? So this is like the biggest question I always get when I talk about Messenger Bots. People they are like, should I even be using a Messenger Bot? Um, so here's the pros and the cons of using Messenger Bots. Open rates, okay? Open rates with Messenger bots are through the roof. They're insane. They're 90% plus typically, meaning you can get almost everybody that subscribes to see it. Click through rates, obviously higher as well. They're smaller <clears throat> as a percentage of open rates typically, but they're still much, much higher than like an email or something like that, right? So, so the good thing about Messenger bots is you're able to get access to your subscribers. You're able to actually like get into most, like almost all of their inboxes and help them see the messages and things like that that you want to send out. Um, the second thing is, uh, the cons is there's lots of rules, okay? So, so Facebook, you know, this is Facebook on the line here and um, they're a big company and their reputation's on the line. So they've got all kinds of rules and things you can do, when you can email things out, how often you can email out, um, what kind of stuff you can email people about. So there's kind of like a lot more rules and things you got to understand about a lot of know-how and things like that. You can see that I have not been approved for subscription messaging yet, blah, blah, blah. It hasn't affected me a ton, but there are like things like that that you have to deal with a lot, which kind of sucks. The next thing is you don't own it, okay? So 
yeah, it's getting great open rates and all that, but guess what? You don't own that traffic, and if Facebook decides they don't like you or they just decide they don't like the concept of messenger bots or you know any number of decisions they can make, ah, boom, your business is over. You no longer can access any of those people. You can no longer message them, and if you don't have their email addresses, well, all that money was wasted that you were building that big messenger bot list. So huge, 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 you do not own this. Okay, At any point, Facebook could shut it off, and you're done, and you contrast that with an email address. You do own that, and you can email at any time as long as they don't tell you you can't email them anymore. So um, that's probably the number one thing to think about. So what do I use it for? Um, I use it in conjunction with email, okay? So like, it's really cool to be able to get in these people's inboxes, but sometimes it's good to send them an email. It's got a ton of training and a lot of words and things like that, right? And, and stuff like that. And so I use it in conjunction with my emails where I'll send out an email. And um, and then, you know, if there's, a, if there's a big event, like I'm pushing a big a promotion or I have a product launch or there's something, you know, a big affiliate launch or something like that I'm involved in, well, then I'll, I'll pull out my messenger bots and start trying to do that. But for the most part, I try not to bug them every single day, and maybe that's just me. Um, but that way, when I do bug them, it's not, you know, it's not like the 30th message they've gotten 30 days from me. It's like, oh, okay, Spencer rarely messages me. What is this big about? Oh, hey. Anyway, that's uh, messenger bots. There's a link down below to Apesta. I'm about to get rampaged here, so see ya.